Replacing the igniter on a Winslow PI-40 pellet insert. First, remove the surround from the unit. This can be done by moving the left and right panels. And before any work is started, make sure that the unit is unplugged. You will access the igniter from the left hand side of the unit. The convection blower will need to be removed by just loosening the two screws that hold it onto the mount. Once the blower has been removed from the unit, we'll set this aside and the gasket can be reused. Cut the zip ties that hold the black wire to the harness. And remove the wires from the fan switch. The other wire will be located on the common bus underneath the auger motor. Now the blower can be moved safely out of the way. The igniter is located in the back of the unit in the center and we will have to undo the zip ties that hold those wires in place. Using a 1 quarter inch socket or a flathead screwdriver, release the tension on the worm clip and the igniter will be able to be pulled from the unit. Follow the white leads and disconnect them. This is how the igniter should look when it's installed inside the stove. When installing the new igniter, this worm clip will allow you to move the igniter back and forth. So let's install the new igniter, making sure that the clamp is fitted around the bracket and nothing's moving. We can tighten that up. One wire from the igniter will be plugged back into the terminal block. The other wire will go over here on this purple wire. We can reinstall our gasket onto the convection blower and then place this back up onto the mounting. Using our 1 8 Allen key ratchet, we can tighten this back down. Find the two black wires from the blower. One will go up to the fan switch that turns the blower on. Make sure that the yellow wire is also attached to the other side of the fan switch. And the other black wire will come over underneath the auger motor and attach over here on the common bus. Any of the connections that are available, it can be connected here. And then grab your wires Make sure that they're free and clear of anything else in the back of the stove. And we're going to zip tie those back up just like so. And we're done.